Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome to my very first Q&A video. I put out a post on Instagram and YouTube a little while ago asking if you had any questions or assumptions about me that you would like answered. So I thought it'd be just kind of a fun little video just to get to know me a little bit more. Um, I do have all the questions on my laptop here. So yeah, hopefully you can uh, have a few laughs and uh, maybe even a few tears. So uh, the first question is, were you nervous when you first started making videos? Yes and no. When I first started making videos, I didn't really appear on my videos. So I wasn't really nervous about making the videos itself. It was basically more of just like a learning uh, progress, I guess, that I wanted to uh, film as I kind of go along and learn about plants. Uh, where I got nervous was when I first started appearing on videos. I'm not, uh, you know, an attention seeker. Or I'm not, you know, the loudest guy in the room kind of thing. So it was really kind of awkward for me to appear on camera for the first few times. And it's still like, I'm still not really, you know, extremely comfortable being in front of the camera. But anyways, um, so yeah. So next question, what is a hobby or skill that would surprise people? I did start taking piano lessons uh, about two years ago and then COVID hit, so that kind of uh, threw a wrench into that. But it's something I've always wanted to do and learn um, throughout my life, but I just never got around to it, just kept putting it off. But I finally told myself that I just need to dive right into it and take lessons. The inspiration came from my grandmother. Um, she played her entire life and it was it's always just a nice memory um, just to remember her playing uh, in the house when I was a kid, she would play the piano and sing. So it was just a, a nice memory that uh, I wanted to continue on. And every time I play, I always think of her. So as you are my favorite, try to watch everything twice. Thank you. Uh, good info, would love more videos. I know you work full time in medical. How do you balance being a husband, uh, family life with plants and a medical job? Keep up the good work. Thank you for that, that was a very nice comment. Um, I do work in the medical field and I guess um, how I balance that is I do work shift work. So they are 12 hour shifts and I usually work, it's a five, five, four uh, rotation. So I work five on, five off, four on, five off kind of thing. So um, that's where I find most of my time is on my days off. So I get uh, a stretch of five days off. I will film a couple of videos and it allows me to just you know, do my hobbies and that sort of thing. So right now, um, today is uh, Monday morning. It's uh, kids are still out of school, but they're upstairs doing their uh, their gaming and that sort of thing. So I just uh, take a little bit of time downstairs, film my videos, and uh, then I'll just go do uh, some parent and family stuff upstairs. So that's kind of how I balance it. It's not really. Um, it's not really that time consuming, I guess. I can usually pump out these videos pretty good. Editing is usually uh, fairly easy, so it doesn't consume a lot of time. Um, so yeah, that basically answers that one. If you're only allowed one plant to own on earth, what would it be and why? Uh, hands down, uh, I have to give no thoughts to this at all, the jade plant. Uh, the jade plant is the first plant that I owned. Um, my grandfather had a jade plant, so every time I see or you know I work on my jade plants, it always reminds me of him. So hands down, the jade plant will always be my favorite tree. They are very sentimental to me. Um, they have lots of meaning. So that is one plant that I will uh, forever have. And uh, if I had to choose between all of them, it would uh, definitely be the uh, jade plant. So this next question, I pretty much just answered, but it says, love your content. My question is, what is the most special plant you have and what does it mean to you? Um, the J plant. Um, I find when speaking with or answering questions on Instagram about the J plant, usually this plant has some sort of association with a family member or a memory or something like that. So it's always tied to a very special event. It's very, I would say, spiritual. Um, lots of meaning to this plant. So that's what these plants mean to me. Every time I think of a J plant or see one, I always think of my grandfather and all the kind of uh, wonderful memories that I've had with him. So at what age did you get your very first plant and what was it? Um, my very first plant was the J plant. Um, I think I got my first J plant when I first moved out. I think I was around 18 or 19. Just like most of us, I had like one small little plant that I probably killed like three or four times. And, uh, and then eventually I just learned how to take care of it. But uh, that was my first plant. Um, this uh, jade right here actually is about 14 years old, I think, maybe more. Um, I had this in my first home, which I had in, oh geez, I can't remember, 2000 something. 
Why did you name Pickles that name? I actually didn't give her that name. She was about a year old when we first got her. I responded to an ad, she was for sale, I responded to an ad uh, in a city about two hours north of us here. And uh, I guess the person that was uh, selling her just didn't have time for her um, and they wanted her to go to a good home. So when I responded, I think there was a, like maybe two or three different families that had to come view her first. And uh, the person selling her said she wasn't gonna let her uh, just go to any home. I ended up writing a message just saying that uh, I have two kids so she'll get plenty of walks. She ha will have a companion friend, our other dog uh, Zoe, she's a Shih Tzu, and uh, my wife stays at home so there will always be someone here with her and she won't just be kind of cooped up in uh, a kennel or anything like that. So um, a couple days later uh, she actually uh, phoned me and said that um, I can come up and see her if I wanted to. And uh, when I went up there, um, basically just ran into my arms and the lady selling her said that uh, she's never done that before. She, she's usually quite um, cautious with uh, new individuals, but she came right up to me and the uh, the name, um, her daughter named her Pickles. Uh, she's a mini dash hound or a little wiener dog or whatever. So um, I told her that we would keep the name. It was a perfect name. We love it and uh, we love Pickles. She's such a fantastic dog. Um, your kids have plants, I do. Um, my kids have jade plants as well, but does your wife have her own plant? Uh, no, she doesn't have any plants. All these plants are mine that I've acquired over the last few years. Uh, she's basically just tolerated my, uh, my plant hobby, um, but deep down I think she does like a few of them. She's mentioned like the Monstera and um, the Birds of Paradise. The other day she uh, made mention that uh, she likes that. So I think it's uh, slowly grown on her, but she doesn't have any of her own plants. I've tried to put a few like on her uh, bedside table, um, but she moves them, so. Uh, where are you originally from and what was the first plant you remember buying? So the first plant, obviously my jade plant. Where am I from? I live in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. It is in the middle of the Canadian prairies. It's absolutely freezing out right now. I don't like winter. Not that I don't like winter. I don't like the minus 30 temperature and I don't like the wind here. We are, we get tons of wind. So um, that's what I don't like. I like snow and you know, the beauty of winter, I don't know. But uh, I don't like the cold and I don't like the wind. So I would love to live on a tropical island somewhere year round where I can have plants and I can have uh, my own like uh, pineapple trees and orange and all those kind of citrus stuff. That's, uh, that's my dream, but I'm in the Canadian prairies. Uh, a couple of these questions and this next one, I really have to think about um, how are you coping through the pandemic? So I've kind of already alluded to that I work in the medical field. So not only do I work in the pandemic, I live in it just like everybody else. And for the last couple of years, it's, it's been tough, but um, I try and stay positive. Um, my family's healthy, we're, we're not sick or anything like that. I haven't had anyone close to me um, pass away. I have had uh, family get COVID and that kind of thing, but they've all recovered and they're, they're healthy. So I'm thankful for that. Um, Kind of the mindset that I think of or that I follow is I try not to worry about tomorrow. Just live for today. I can't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow or in a week or in a month or in a year. So we just have to get through today. Uh, today we're all healthy. We're happy. I'm here filming this video and uh, so that's pretty much it. I just live kind of day by day and uh, yeah I hope all of you guys are healthy and uh, staying healthy. Um, that sort of thing. So I just probably like everybody else uh, frustrated with uh, how long this is going on and all the you know ongoing restrictions, but we still do what we need to do wearing masks and that sort of thing. But I think just like everybody else I want it to be done and uh, kind of back to normal life. We miss traveling. We usually go on uh, family winter holidays every year, but uh, for obviously for the last couple of years haven't been able to do that. And when you live in the Canadian prairies, trust me, you need a break in the winter. It uh, it's brutal. Like. Uh, I think we had one day of uh, temperatures in the single minus digits, so like minus six yesterday, but for the last week and a half, it's been like minus 25 with wind chills reaching like minus 30, 40. Um, I think more minus 45 was the highest day. So trust me, uh, we need our winter breaks. Do you have a full-time job? Yes, uh, medical field. Um, I think I'll leave it just at that for right now. Um, I have been working in my current position for the last 17, almost 18 years, and I've been in the health region for about 21 years. Um, so yeah, that's probably all I'll say about that. Uh, what do people think and say when they see all your plants? Most people, when they come into, like we're not really like super social people, we're, we're uh, pretty, 
Um, I'm a homebody. I like to, to do things at home, have my a good set of uh, friends, that sort of thing. So um, we don't really have a lot of people that come in our home, but when they do, um, people always comment on how tropical it looks and how all my plants uh, look really healthy and that sort of thing. So I think overall, for the most part, it's been pretty positive. I know my family probably thinks I'm a little bit uh, crazy when they come in and uh, they're like, oh, you got some more plants. Try not to buy any more plants. I'm going to try and, I guess, uh, maintain the plants that I have and grow them into uh, large, large beasts. If you need to laugh while you are drinking something, do you choke or spit it out? Uh, definitely choke. Um, yeah, that's probably all I really have to say about that one. Um, current wish list plants. I don't really have, actually I do have one. It is the Ficus Chevriana, I think it's called. Um, I can't find it anywhere. I've seen one post recently on Instagram of someone having it in the US, but I know these plants are available in Australia. So if I have any Australian uh, subscribers or viewers, send me one, even though I don't have a address for you to send it to, but I just want one. Okay, who are your favorite YouTube plant peeps? I, I actually wrote down a bunch upstairs. I forgot it, but just off the top of my head, I absolutely love Wild Fern's YouTube channel. She is another Canadian YouTuber, if you don't follow her. Um, yeah, she lives in BC, and I actually had someone on Instagram the other day compare me to an older male Wild Fern. So, Take that as a compliment, I guess. Her videos are awesome. Another channel that I love is uh, uh, another YouTube friend, Matt from Tech Plant. Okay, so Wild Fern Tech Plant, um, Gardening in Canada. It's uh, another friend of mine up in Saskatoon. She has a wonderful channel of uh, Science About Plants. Uh, Marble Queen, uh, she is another uh, good YouTuber that I would recommend. And of course, I watch the Summer Rain Oaks um, and the Epic Gardening Plant Arena, that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, those are kind of my uh, go-to plant people that I really enjoy watching. There's many other YouTube channels, uh, smaller ones that I watch that uh, have just slipped my mind right now. Houseplant fertilizers. I have used a variety of ones, um, just miracle Grows uh, granular fertilizer. You can uh, dilute it in water. That's a really good one for houseplants. I use Dynagro uh, foliage pro right now. I uh, purchased that off Amazon. That's um, my plants seem to really like that. But there's a, there's a variety of other ones specific to like uh, orchids and succulents, which I also use. Uh, the next question has a few questions. It says, I've got some questions. What plants do you recommend for beginners? Basically anything you can find at your big box stores. They're common and popular for a reason. They're really easy to grow. So things like pothos plants, uh, syngoniums, monstera deliciosas, uh, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, anything trailing. Jade plants, really easy to care. Um, so yeah, just do your research. What are your favorite five plants? So uh, jade plants, number one. I love all syngoniums. Um, anthuriums I'm really big into right now, philodendrons, and diefenbachias. Those are kind of my five main types of plants that I really enjoy right now. I've killed two monsters and one burly marks. How many times have you killed a plant and then you go and buy another? Um, great question. I've killed a ton of plants, especially when first learning how to care for plants. You buy it, you think it's uh, it looks awesome, and you give it the <laughs> complete wrong care, and it dies. So one example is this uh, Diefenbachia reflector. I had purchased two other ones previously, killed them really quick, and now I'm holding on to a, a third one that I, I bought a little while ago, and I haven't seen this one any like in any stores uh, recently. So. Um, that was definitely one that I would buy again, but yeah, I've killed a lot of plants um, throughout, uh, throughout my time of owning plants, so don't feel bad if, you, if you've killed a plant. If someone says they've never killed a plant or they don't have bugs, don't believe them, they're liars. Um, everyone has killed a plant, we all have bugs, you just might not see it. Hi Jeff, question for you, what kind of work do you do? Medical field? Uh, would you consider selling some of your rare plants? Um, I do sometimes sell uh, locally here just if I have like if I make a cutting or if I make something for these videos and I don't have anywhere to put it or if I don't have any use for it I will sell it or I'll do a plant trade but uh, if this question is referring to will I uh, open up a store 
no, I don't really have any, any interest in opening up like an online store or anything like that. I would love to have my own greenhouse, almost like a conservatory where I can just go there, just sit and enjoy, relax, almost like an in, indoor gardening type thing. But in regards to selling plants as like a job, I don't really have any interest in that. Uh, I'm interested in hearing how you plan your content as a YouTuber. Do you have a schedule, set time ahead, blah, blah, blah. Um, with the ad revenue, do you consider this a business? How has YouTube impacted the job you had or before still have? I do work full-time in the medical field, like I said. Um, how do I plan my content as a YouTuber? Basically, I do it day by day. Like this morning, I really didn't have anything to film and I knew I had to uh, film this video soon as it's been a little while since I put out, the, like probably a month ago. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I do is I'll just go through my plants and if one plant in particular I've been working on for a while or I've propagated and I'm seeing some results like roots on the propagations, then I'll just grab my camera and do kind of like a care and propagation video. Um, I do lots of like chore videos. So after my five days of work, the first day off, I will usually do plant chores. So watering, um, I'll kind of go through and just make sure that all my plants have uh, clean leaves, no bugs, anything like that. But that's basically how I do it. I don't really have like a set schedule. Um, if I see something that would be interesting to film or talk about, that's basically what I'll do is I'll just grab my camera. Um, I will make some notes um, for key points, but I don't really have like a set out schedule of, you know, I got to talk about this, this, and this, and this. It's not really kind of an organized, it's more of just like a chaotic, mess, I guess, as, as I film it. So I just think up of ideas as I go along and it's all from just learning and research that I've done for the last uh, few years. Um, with re ad revenue, do you consider this a business? No, never in a million years did I ever think that I would make a dollar from this, but it is now uh, to the point where it is generating uh, some money, some uh, some pretty good side money, I guess. It's not anything that I would consider uh, quitting my job for, but it's uh, it's nice to have just a little bit of extra side income. Um, so yeah, maybe it'll turn into something uh, down the road as this uh, channel continues to grow, but who, who knows where this will be in five years. But love that question. Why do you have plants? Um, I enjoy having plants. I never see any windows in your videos. It seems like you rely on grow lights a lot. All these plants are in my basement. This is kind of like my little workshop studio away from my family so I don't have to you know, kick them out of the house or tell them to be quiet or anything like that. This is just kind of my own little personal space which I started just to film these videos. Um, I do have a lot of plants upstairs as well um, in a big south facing window and I have some uh, in the east and west facing windows as well. So I do the majority of my filming for my content downstairs. Just uh, it don't disturb my family upstairs, but I do have a lot of plants upstairs and I've been wanting to film another houseplant tour video upstairs, which I will hopefully do shortly. And then you can see all my windows and, and that sort of thing. But downstairs, you're right, there are all grow lights. I'm guessing you have a day job. So what you do with plants in this channel is time you could spend with other things. So why plants? I enjoy plants. I love learning about plants, um, but this is kind of a weird question because the same thing could be said for any other hobby. So if you like watching sports or if you go to sporting events, could that time be spent, uh, be, be better spent uh, somewhere else? Probably, but it depends on you. If you enjoy spending time doing those things, then, uh, then that's up for you to decide. Um, yeah, everybody, everybody needs a hobby. You gotta, you gotta keep busy. You gotta uh, keep yourself learning um, about new things. And that's what plants do for me is I'm constantly researching, um, I'm, I'm experimenting with plants. So I enjoy and I value this time that I have with plants and learning from plants. I teach my kids about it. They help me repot. So I think it's a good hobby and uh, really, you know, with any hobby, it's all about that person's value of their time. And if you value that, uh, that hobby, then I, I think it's great. What's your dog's names? Um, we have three dogs now. Uh, Zoe, she's our oldest one. She's a 14 year old Shih Tzu. Uh, Pickles, she is om uh, she's five this year. She is a mini dash hound uh, poodle cross. And then we have our newest pup, uh, Oscar. He is a Cocker Spaniel. Is there a plant that you hate or can't get to thrive? Yes, 
I hate and I despise Calatheas. The only two that I currently have in my collection is the Orbifolia, which I have in Lekka and it's doing okay. It's still a really kind of ugly looking plant, but um, the one Calathea that I have success with is the Musaica. I absolutely love it. I, it wouldn't bother me if I didn't see another Calathea other than the um, Musaica plant. Uh, what are the challenges you face growing plants in the Canadian prairies? Um, I keep most of my uh, indoor plants indoors all year round. I might take my J plants outside or like one of them for the summer. Um, otherwise, uh, in the Canadian prairies in the summer, if I take my plants outside, we are super hot, we are super dry, and it's windy. Obviously, I don't keep my plants outside in the winter. I bring them back in. And uh, But yeah, another big thing, I guess, is bugs. This year, uh, spider mites and thrips, they, uh, they get blown in through the, uh, the windows, you open the doors, that kind of thing. Uh, so bugs, and I guess the temperature fluctuations, super hot uh, here in the summer. My question, has everyone been supportive of your love of plants? If not, how have you dealt with that? Yes, um, I've pretty much got 100% support from my family. They, uh, they think it's interesting. Um, maybe didn't quite understand it at first why I was making videos and that sort of thing, but um, I know my wife supports it now because I'm making a little bit of money off YouTube. So it's, like I said, just nice to, whoops, just to have a little extra money. I got a, holding onto my pencil, got another one. Do you plan or would you do YouTube full-time? I think about it often, but I never even thought I would have gotten to this point. I didn't ever think I would make money off of YouTube or have people um, returning and watching my videos. It was more, I set it up more as like a documentary for myself um, for learning about plants, but never thought in a million years that I would end up kind of where I am making money off YouTube. Would I go full time? Um, let's see the next question. Or would you prefer to have a real world job or, and YouTube as a side gig? Uh, I would love to retire and have enough money uh, just to do the things that I love. I love traveling, I love hiking, I love plants, I love gardening. So do I need a, 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 a real world job to be happy? No. Uh, I would love to just do my hobby, spend time with my family, travel, that sort of thing. Would I like YouTube to be my full-time job. If I could make it uh, as a full-time job, I'd love to. That would be an absolute dream, but never in a million years did I ever think I would be even here where I am. And that is not possible without the support of you guys, all my viewers and subscribers, it's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm very thankful and very fortunate that I have this as, uh, as a, a fun side hobby. It's, it's very relaxing for me. Okay, I think this is gonna be a really long video because I just keep rambling on and on. So hopefully I answer that question. Like most questions, what and when got you into plants and how many do you have? I don't even wanna say how many I have. I haven't counted for a while, but uh, I'm guessing I probably have about 200. Sounds ridiculous, sounds crazy. Uh, it's probably a good guesstimation. Um, what got me into plants? I don't know if there was one specific factor that got me into plants. It was definitely some family influences. Like I said, uh, my grandfather, um, he had that uh, jade plant. But um, I think what really kind of did it for me is when I pruned this large jade plant, it was really overgrown. I chopped it up and instead of throwing out those pieces, I tried to propagate them, all the little stems, and I, I probably made like 15 or 20 different pots and they rooted and I ended up just giving them away to uh, friends and family. And so that's just kind of how, I guess, this whole um, hobby got started is just wanting to learn uh, how to grow different types of plants and grow them right. So every plant is not the same. You can't just water when it's dry. Some like to be dry, for more than others and some don't like to be dry at all. So it's nice to just research and learn about plants. So that's basically how I got started with this. Uh, what made you start showing yourself on camera? As this channel started to grow, I thought it would be nice to be a little bit more personable, just show the person behind the camera um, with all the nice comments and, and questions and support of this channel. Um, I don't know, I just, I thought it would be uh, just a nice personal gesture just to kind of start showcasing myself as to the person behind the camera. Uh, what is it like for you being a YouTuber? It's, it sounds crazy. Someone at work called me a YouTuber. 
Um, and I don't think of myself as a YouTuber. YouTubers, I think of, you know, all those young kids that drive the, the fancy cars and have the big mansions and, you know, have parties and stuff. That, that's what I think of YouTubers as, but I wouldn't, I don't call myself a YouTuber. I just, I make videos. Uh, where in Canada do you live? Saskatchewan, uh, it's in the middle of the Canadian prairies, just above like North Dakota, Montana, um, just in that general area. Uh, hi Jeff, are you as nice as you seem? Um, I think so. I try and be a good person. I don't get into uh, road rage fights. I, uh, I, I take my shopping cart back when I'm done using it at the store. I don't know. I, I try and be as nice as I can to everyone. Um, I give them the benefit of the doubt at first. And if you tick me off, then uh, that's it, you're gone. No, um, I think that's just what we're supposed to do as humans. Just try and be as nice as you can to each other. You know, uh, things like, uh, it's pretty windy here. So if I see my neighbor's garbage can rolling down the street, I'll, uh, I'll grab the garbage can, put it back on their uh, driveway, that kind of thing. So I think we all just need to be uh, nice to each other and try and be as as, as good of a human being, neighbor, um, that sort of thing, as, as, as best as you can. I uh, love seeing Canadian plant YouTubers. Thank you. Do you have a garden in the summer? Uh, yes, I do. I have a smaller backyard and I actually started a second channel that I really kind of put on the shelf for now. I didn't really have time to film so much content, but I wanted to start a, a second outdoor kind of urban gardening uh, small yard uh, channel. So I bought a bunch of uh, grow bags or those uh, felt or fabric grow bags, 15 gallon bags, as well as some uh, garden boxes. And I did uh, plant some vegetables this summer. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't really film too much on that channel. It's everything gardens. Um, a lot of my uh, vegetables this summer, uh, when we went camping, we had like a huge heat wave. Um, I think it kind of went across all of North America, but um, all my peas, uh, cauliflower, all that kind of stuff, it just got roasted. I couldn't keep up with the watering. So I did end up harvesting some potatoes out of the grow bags and I got some tomatoes off of my plants, but I think the rest of them, um, it just, it got roasted in the, in the summer heat this year. Okay, the next question, are you married? Uh, yes, I am married. We got married in 2016 and we did one of those uh, destination weddings. So we got married in a tropical location. Um, so yeah, we've actually been together since 2009, got married in 2016. Uh, kind of the funny little thing, I guess, the little story is we actually dated a long time ago. So kind of the early 2000s, we dated for a little while. Uh, we broke up, but uh, kind of always kept in touch. And uh, back in uh, 2009 is kind of when, when we got back together. Um, had a couple kids, got married, have a house, all that kind of stuff. Do you feel you show your full personality or do you feel some of it's lost by default on camera? I like to think this is the real me. I, I joke around lots, um, I, but I am serious when I need to be. That's kind of what it is with my job as well. So I feel like I'm showing um, my real personality on the camera here, but it can be a little bit awkward sometimes, I guess, when being on camera. So I think for the most part, yeah, that's me. Um, the lipstick uh, plant behind you is very pretty. How do you care for it? Uh, I must tell you, I enjoy watching your videos. Thank you. Um, I do have a care video for this one, but for the most part, I don't really do too much with it. Um, I water it when it's dry. Um, it's underneath these grow lights. I fertilize it. Otherwise, I, I honestly, I don't touch it. It just sits there on the shelf here. Uh, so there is one other question I, and I can't find it right now. Let's see. Okay, I found that question. It says, tell us a story of something you did when you were younger that makes you do a face palm when you think about it now. Um, hands down, um, when I was probably about 17 or 18, uh, me and a couple of friends went up to Saskatoon to visit some friends. We ended up staying the night, uh, no drinking involved or anything like that, but uh, we came back earlier the next morning as a friend of mine had to go to his job. Uh, so we left Saskatoon and we're driving back to uh, my city and it was raining out and I find rain very calming, very relaxing. And I knew I was going to fall asleep. I was driving. I knew I was going to fall asleep. We were coming up to one of the towns who was basically in the middle of our two cities. And like I said, I knew I was going to fall asleep. The rain, it was, it was so calming. So I was going to stop and pull over and get a drink, um, just like a Coke or something like that. And... <laughs> At the time, I had this little Geo Metro, so it was like a little bubble car. 
and I hit the ditch. I fell asleep and I hit the ditch going like 100 kilometers, 110, and I went right in and I woke up and I was <laughs> ripped on the wheel, didn't roll it, nothing happened. Basically drove in, drove out, didn't hit a culvert. Uh, I am so thankful someone was watching over me because we didn't roll, I didn't hit a culvert, I drove in and out, and uh, let's just say I did not need to stop for that, uh, that coke or whatever. Um, afterwards, my, I was awake. Um, it was the scariest time of my life. I didn't tell my parents for the longest time, but my, uh, my little bubble car had this uh, constant uh, clunking noise afterwards. Uh, I don't think I told my parents until I was like well into my uh, kind of late 20s about uh, this incident of almost dying. Scariest time of my life, but now I look back, um, yeah, it's definitely a facepalm moment and one I will never forget. So uh, do not drive if you're tired. I didn't hit anyone, it was crazy. Um, yeah, it was best case scenario, drove in and out. And kind of the thing that I always replay in my mind is, I always imagine the people uh, that saw this, like even the person behind me just like driving along and all of a sudden you see this little bubble car just uh, right in the center ditch. And uh, yeah, I always just kind of laugh at that. Um, Okay, so now I'm gonna do a few more questions here and then I think that's gonna be pretty much it. So that's my crazy little bubble car story. There's a, a few questions that I just wanna make mention that um, if I didn't answer them, it's because I don't have enough information. Like people have been asking about uh, grow lights, LED lights. I don't know a lot about them. Um, so I do have, that is one thing that I want to learn more about because all grow bulbs are not created equal, just like plants aren't. So I wanna do some more research on this before making a video about it or commenting on it. I don't wanna get any, any of the information wrong. So uh, I'll stick to the, uh, the basic questions for now. Um, and the next one is, how do you get the caramel in the caramel bar? Uh, I have no idea. That's something I've been wondering for pretty much the majority of my life. Um, I think we all want to know how they get the caramel in the caramel bar. It's a mystery. I don't know. Are you available to do consult work on plants, home visits? N yes and no. Um, I don't do home visits, but I'm always open to, uh, if you have questions, go to my Instagram and send me a message, send me a picture of the plant. If you have a question, sometimes it's really hard to diagnose uh, a plant question without seeing a picture. And even if you have a picture, it's, it can be difficult. I'm not an expert, I'm just a plant uh, hobbyist, enthusiast, and I just kind of uh, relay information uh, just based on my experience. So yeah, just kind of what I've seen. Um, but otherwise, like I, I, I don't have like a paid service where I, I do house calls to help out with house plants. But uh, most problems that people have with house plants are uh, light issues or watering issues, which can also be, um, I guess, broken down into uh, soil, pot size, that kind of thing. There's many different factors, but uh, do I do uh, consult work? Not officially, but if you want to ask. My camera, my, my cell phone, it always like shuts off. So if the uh, if the video is a little bit choppy, uh, it's because my camera shut off. But um, if you have, back to the question, if you have any plant related questions, hop over to Instagram, uh, send me a message and I'll try and do the best that I can to help you out. Uh, you never ever smile ever. Um, <laughs> I'm smiling right now. It's kind of a funny question. Um, I'm always happy. I, I try and be happy, but um, my smile, it actually goes downwards. So I don't really have the, the big smile with the big teeth and everything like that. So um, I typically, uh, yeah, that's my smile. My smile is a, is a downward smile. Uh, and it's funny because I've gotten a few comments about this on YouTube and it doesn't bother me, but um, just keep the comments plant related. You, um, I don't I don't like when people comment on other people or YouTubers or uh, about their physical features or you know what they wear or anything like that. It's not related to this type of content. Keep those comments to yourself. Just be a good person. Just if you don't like the video, move on. If you like uh, watching a certain plant YouTuber, then leave a leave a comment or you know if you have any concerns about uh, the way I care for my plants or you disagree with it or whatever, those comments are fine. But um, when you start uh, asking questions about someone's, uh, this is, I know I know this is a joke because I, I know this person, but <laughs> I, just, I find it funny. It's funny. 
Okay, so the last question, last but not least, um, do you feel obligated or guilty when you do not provide content? I guess the quick answer is no. This is still just a hobby for me. I, I, I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you enjoy my videos, but I don't have like a set schedule. You know, I don't upload videos Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. I think that just puts uh, an unwanted stress on me to provide content, um, not necessarily quality stuff or stuff that um, I would enjoy filming. It's more of like a deadline, which I don't want to set. So I did put out a poll a little while ago, actually quite a while ago, asking if you guys prefer like a scheduled uh, upload. And I think like most people, I don't follow those with other YouTubers that I follow. I'm like, you know, I'm not sitting by my phone like a Wednesday night at six o'clock waiting for that upload, but I will watch videos as I see them in my subscription feed. And uh, yeah, I always appreciate when those people have YouTube videos up. So uh, do I feel obligated or guilty? No, not really. Um, if this was my full-time job, I think there'd be a little bit more stress about um, just putting those videos out. And I think that would probably be more um, uh, stressful or if I didn't meet those deadlines then I would feel guilty but right now it's just it's just a nice fun hobby I'd like to keep it like that kind of stress-free and when it does get stressful um, maybe it's time for me to move on or, or do something different but for right now it's fun I like to keep it fun and that way I think it uh, portrays or relates in my videos uh, you guys leave tons of nice comments I really appreciate it it seems like you enjoy the content that I make and I'd like to keep it that way. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I think that's all the questions that I have for um, the ones on Instagram and YouTube. Thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it was kind of a fun little video. It's gonna be a long one, I know. So thanks for watching. Appreciate the support. Take care, everyone. Bye.